Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate YouTube video description using Google Gemini. So here I am a content creator and on regular basis, I'm uploading videos on my YouTube channel. But to generate the description manually is a time consuming process. Therefore, I want to automate this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect. So I want that as soon as I'm going to add a new title in my spreadsheet along with a new date, immediately on that title, a description for the video should be generated with the help of Google Gemini and should be updated it again on my same spreadsheet. So how we are going to automate this entire process that we are going to do without the requirement of any coding and programming skills simply by setting up connection between all these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone as I told you that we are going to learn step by step that how we can generate YouTube video description with the help of Gemini automatically. So I want that as soon as I'm going to add a new date a new title over here in my spreadsheet immediately the description for this title for my youtube video should be generated with the help of gemini and should be updated over here in front of the title automatically so that i can create a record of all the videos titles and the description for them for the process of seo of my youtube videos now i'm going to automate this entire process without the requirement of any coding and programming skills by using Pabli connect Pabli connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to set up connections between all our work applications to automate all our repetitive task. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, so you just have to click on sign in option. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I'm already an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in. It is going to take us towards all app section. Here we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. It has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also save our workflows separately by creating multiple folders like this. Now, in order to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option with blue button. So let's do that. Here a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name over here. Generate YouTube video description using Google Gemini. After giving this name here, I want to select the folder in which I want to save my workflow. So you can see here I have multiple folders, but I want to select AI automations for YouTube channel folder. I've selected that and automatically this workflow is going to be saved over here in our folder. Let's click on create. After doing this, here we can see on our screen there are two windows open. First is the trigger and the other is action. Now what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or the building blocks on which the entire automation works. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many actions steps as we want. Let's suppose here I want that whenever I'm going to add a new title in my spreadsheet on which I have created for my YouTube channel, then immediately the response of that title should be captured over here and instantly and automatically the description for that title for the video should be generated with the help of Gemini. So we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and Google Gemini in our action. When we are going to set up connection between these two applications with the help of Pabli Connect, we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that, that means when the new title is added in our spreadsheet, then only the description for that title will be generated, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us start quickly creating the workflow step by step. First of all, to start a workflow, we have to go towards our trigger step and here our trigger application will be Google Sheets. Let's select that. As we have selected the application, we also have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new or updated spreadsheet row will be our trigger event over here because when we are going to add a new row in our spreadsheet, then immediately the workflow is going to trigger with the response. As we have done that, we have received a webhook URL along with some instructions. So we have to follow these instructions step by step carefully in order to set up our connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. And that we are going to do with the help of this URL, which is going to act as a bridge for transferring the data 
graph of a new row from Google Sheets towards Babli Connect. So let's simply copy the URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do for building this connection. So first of all, I have take you towards my spreadsheet. After coming over here, we have to go towards extensions. And here you can see the option of add-ons. When you click on get add-ons, it has taken us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. Pabli Connect Webbook is the add-on which we need to install in Google Sheets to set up the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Okay, so you can see that here in my Google Sheets, I've already installed Pabli Connect Webbook. So I'm just going to cross this. Once you will install the add-on for the very first time, you also have to refresh your spreadsheet once so that you can find the option of Pabli Connect Webbooks under extensions. Now here we have to go towards initial setup. So basically, we have to perform an initial setup for building the connection. First of all, in the webbook URL field, let's paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. And the next field which we have to enter is trigger column. Now, what is trigger column? Trigger column is the column in which if the data is added, immediately the entire row will be sent towards the webbook URL. So here you can see that in my spreadsheet, I have three columns, A, B and C. So column B over here will be my trigger column because I want that whenever I'm going to add a new row along with a date and a new title in my spreadsheet that then immediately when I'm going to add that row up till B column, up till title, then the response should be captured inside public connect with the help of the URL. Okay, so what we will do, we will simply enter B as our trigger column. It is also given over here in the instructions that the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row will be sent to the webbook URL. C will not be considered over here in my case as the trigger column because I do not want to enter the data up till that column and I do not want to send the response up till that. I want that I am going to use the C column afterwards in order to update the description which is generated. Okay. Now here when we have added the webbook URL as well as the trigger column, let's click on send test button to send the test response which we have over here in the spreadsheet towards Pabli Connect. Okay, so the test data is sent successfully. Now we are going to click on submit to submit the configuration and we'll cross this and move back towards Pabli Connect. After coming over here, we can see that we have already received the response. In this response, you can see we have received the trigger column which we have entered column B. Here's the title of the video. Okay, sunrise to sunset capturing the beauty of nature's landscapes. Sunrise to sunset capturing the beauty of nature's landscapes. Here is a spreadsheet name, nature's landscape. Here we have the spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index. That means the row in which we have the data okay, and the date. Now, when we have received this response, that means our connection is successful. But here our objective is that whenever we are going to add a new row up till our trigger column, the data must be keep on sending towards Fabric Connect. How are we going to get that? For that, we have to perform one more action. We have to go towards extensions, Fabric Connect webbooks, and we have to click on send on event button. As we have done that, we have made sure that now whenever we are going to add a new row, immediately the data will be captured over here in Public Connect. Now our objective is to generate the description for the title which we have received from Google Sheets. So for that now we have to use Google Gemini and with the help of this amazing AI tool, we are going to generate unique and on-point descriptions for all our YouTube videos. So now we have to set up the connection between Gemini and Public Connect. For that we have to go towards our action step. Here our action application will be Google Generative AI, that is Gemini. And now we have to select the action event. So our action event will be generate content. Let's click on connect. To build the connection, I'm going to go with add new connection to build a new connection with my Google Generative AI account. In case if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. You have to make sure before making the connection that you're already logged into your account of Gemini. Then you have to provide an API key. So how are we going to get that? In order to get the API key, we have to go towards Google AI Studio. But before that, you have to log into your account. When you will click on this hyperlink, it is going to take you towards Google AI Studio from where you have to generate the API key. Now it has taken us towards Google AI Studio. So here we have to click on get API key button to generate the new API key. And now we have to click on create API key. For creating the API key, we also have to select the project because we have to create the key inside a project. If you have not created any project over here in your account, you can go and create one and you have to select that project for, for creating the API key. So I'm going to select my project my first project okay this is an existing project and i'm going to click on create api key in existing project as we have done that we can see that the api key is generated we'll copy that and move back towards Pabli connect let's quickly paste the key over here and done in this way you have to set up your connection by getting the api key like the way i have told you let's click on save with this, we can see that Google Generative AI account is successfully connected with Public Connect. Now here we have to provide the text model and the method. Text is very important field because it is the command or the prompt which we are going to give to Gemini that what we wanted to do for us. Here I want to generate creative and engaging descriptions for my YouTube videos for the titles which I have received from Google Sheets. So here my text will be according to that. 
generate creative youtube video description for the title here i will enter the title of the video for which i want to generate the descriptions so we have already received the title in our google sheets response we will go towards that response and you can see that this is the title let's select that and it is mapped over here when we insert our data from our previous step it is called as mapping when we map a data it become dynamic and now it is going to replace with each and every new response automatically so now whenever we are going to add a new row a new title in our spreadsheet and the response of that will be captured inside public connect immediately because we have mapped this data it is going to replace with a new title of that new response and this way we are going to automate the entire process of generating descriptions for each of the videos okay now here you can see i have entered a basic text only but definitely you can add as many points which you want in your description for the videos you can add all the instructions over here all your requirements that how and what kind of that what kind of description you actually want for your channel for your videos okay now we have to enter the model over here so we have multiple models so i'm going to select model gemini pro by using which i'm going to generate this content then we have to select the method so we have two options over here we have to select generate content option over here let's simply click on save and send test request button after this and we can see that here we have received the response in this response you can see that here we have received the description and in this description we have received the points okay so we have received the points in the description but but here in the content which is received you can see we have also received stars I do not want these extra symbols in my description because I'm going to update this in my Google Sheets and I want that in the systematic and organized form without these extra symbols. So what I will do, I will simply add one more action step over here that will be to remove this star. So here that action step will be text formatter. With the help of this, we can format the text according to the requirements of our workflow. Now we are going to select the action event that will be replace text. So I'm going to replace all the stars which I have received in the content. Okay, now I'm going to click on connect and because it is already an inbuilt feature of Pabli, so the connection is built very easily now it is asking us the text which we want to format so the text is the description which we have received from the google gemini after mapping this text we have to enter the find value that in this entire text what we want to find actually we want to find the stars so i'm going to enter two stars so wherever in the text two stars will be there i want to replace the two stars with a blank okay so if you so here we have to enter the replace value that you want to replace the stars with what i want to replace them with a blank so i'm going to simply map so i'm going to simply copy this blank and i'm going to paste it over here it is given that if you want to replace the text with a blank then use this tag so i've already done that now i'm going to click on save and send test request button and you can see that we have received the response once again and we have not received any of the star so now we can simply add this data this description over here we can update the description over here in front of the title in our spreadsheet to create a record how we are going to do that by simply setting the connection once again with spreadsheet and public connect so let's click on this add action step button and here once again our action application will be google sheets our action event will be update cell value because we want to update the value over here in the cell okay let's click on connect we will go with the existing connection only as we have already built the connection earlier and now we are going to select the spreadsheet name so the name of the spreadsheet is nature's landscape okay you can see you have to select the correct spreadsheet from the, from the drop down now we have to select the sheet name which is already selected over here because i have only created one sheet now with the next we have to enter that range this is very important step the range up till which you want to update the data so here the range will be the combination of the row as well as the column you can see it is given that you have to enter the range in this way row plus column so you can see that the column in which I want to update the data will be C every time. C is the column of description. But the rows are going to be replaced because we are going to enter more rows. The row number 3, row number 4, row number 5, etc. So these are going to be replaced every time. So what we have to do, we have to make a range over here which is going to be static with the column but it is going to be dynamic with the row. So for that what can we do? We will simply enter column as manually so that it could be static each time. It is not going to change now. And what we will do, we will simply map the row index over here so that the row could change. Okay, here we have the range and here we have the row index C2. But now whenever we are going to receive the new response, whenever we are going to add a new row over here with a new title, then immediately because we have mapped row index, it is going to replace. Then we have the value, what value you want to update. So we have mapped the value. Let's click on save and send test request button. And here we have received the response. So because we have received the response, let's go and check whether automatically the data is updated in front of the title or not. 
and yes here we can see that the data is updated and here so here I have the date the title as well as the description for that video okay this means that our connection is absolutely successful and once we have set up this connection successfully so now whenever we are going to add a new title along with a new date over here in the next row immediately the content the description for that title of the video should be generated and will be added instantly in front of that title over here in row in column number C so let's check the workflow once again here I'm going to add one more date a new title the hidden gems of coastal landscapes and you can see that here we have and you can see that here we have the description updated in front of this particular title here you can see that this is a beautiful description generated for my title okay for my video and here we also have received the keywords which we, which can be used in the seo process of our video in this way you can generate a good record of all the titles which you are uploading on your youtube channel as well as their descriptions in the similar manner by using the prompt inside google gemini you can also automatically generate the tags for your videos okay so after that once you will create the record you, you can schedule your workflow for uploading the youtube videos with all these description tags and titles i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate .com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.